Magnum had his Ferrari, the Sweeney their Granada, and the professionals had their Ford Capri. But all action hero Jim Bergerac got his kicks in a vintage 1947 Triumph Roadster. Or did he? It was indeed a horror. In Jersey, this thing was impossible to drive with any degree of safety because the roads are very narrow, the hedges are very high. You come to a crossroads, you've got to hang your bonnet out there in Cannonball Alley before you can actually see round the bloody corner, you see. So it was very, very dangerous. And uh, apart from I almost killed a man on the very first day, I remember, coming out of the car park, and there was this old Jersey fellow with the bicycle. Oh, I'm not stopping for any filming. Going across it. Wham! Endless problems with that bloody car. I have to tell you, it was always breaking down, and there was never the double. You know, you always have to have double cars. You know, whatever you do when you're filming, because if one breaks down, you've got another. And obviously, the cost, the time, you lose because of something like that happening. So many a time, I think we had to push it. But the thing was mechanically defunct. I mean, on a good day, with the following wind going down a one in six, you might get it up to twenty miles an hour. That'd be that'd be something remarkable. And the engine sounded so bad and so decrepit that they used to put on <laughs> the sound of a, a Jaguar engine. So it was a bit like, you know, working with the Daleks. They couldn't go <laughs> quite, quite keep up the momentum of the story. But, you know, very beautiful to look at. I got to sit there and look pretty every now and then. <laughs> the times I scraped my knuckles and banged my knees on that car, I hated it. I hated it for the passion. And finally, it was sold for uh, children in need at auction for, I think, £34,000 to a very charming fellow. But you must understand, this car had been used uh, on the film set for 10 years or more, with film crews sitting in the back. Mushrooms were actually growing in the back of that car. It, it had been pushed around, skidded, crashed, turned upside down, immersed in water. All that had happened to a, you know, a, a car in a film series. And this guy wrote to me rather angrily and said, John, this car has failed its MOT. <laughs> Do something about it. I said, no, no, no. And I was glad to be shot of it. 